Oh, wow, there's a donut shop I haven't tried. Okay, just give me a sec to finish this up real quick. And done. I'm on a mission to try every donut shop in Chicago. I thought I had them all covered, but a new one just popped up in my Facebook feed. They have a special offer for new customers, so I signed up to join their mailing list, and I wanna make sure I get that coupon for later today. This is exactly why you should be using the Conversions API for leads. Instead of showing that ad to 50 or 100 people who might be interested, Facebook's parent company, Meta, showed it to me. To them, I'm not just another lead, I'm a high quality lead. So what does that mean for you and your business? Well, for most marketers, lead quality is the number one metric used to measure success. But actually finding high quality leads is hard. That's because right now, Meta doesn't know what happens after someone interacts with your ad. Do they ask for more information? Do they talk to a salesperson? Or do they make a purchase? The more Meta knows about your current customers, the better it gets at targeting leads. If you could just share that information, Meta can use it to show your ads to more of the right people. This is exactly what the new Conversions API does. It creates a direct connection between Meta and HubSpot, so you can use your CRM data to teach Meta which leads are most valuable to you. Once Meta knows which contacts matter most to your business, Meta Ads can use this information to show your ad campaigns to similar people, helping customers like me discover new donut shops. And that's not even the best part. Ads that use the Meta Conversions Lead Performance Goal and CRM integration with the Conversions API saw their cost per quality lead go down on an average of 15%. They also converted leads to quality leads 44% faster. In other words, the Conversions API can help you spend less money to reach more high quality leads. And all you have to do is set up the new integration. If you have a Marketing Hub Professional or Enterprise account, and you advertise on Facebook or Instagram, you can start using it right now. Let's take a look. To get started, you'll need three things in place. First, connect your Meta Ads account to HubSpot. Second, install a Facebook pixel in your HubSpot account. And third, turn on lead syncing so HubSpot can collect and sync your leads. You'll find detailed instructions for all of these steps in the HubSpot knowledge base. Just click the link in the description below this video and follow the tutorial you see there. Now. To get started with your Conversions API in your HubSpot account, begin by creating a new conversion event. In the upper right, select Create, and then select Event. Choose Facebook as your ad network, and then select your connected account. Under Event Trigger, select Lifecycle Stage Change. A HubSpot Lifecycle Stage is used to track which stage a contact is in your marketing funnel. Selecting this type of event will let Meta know where your contacts are in the buying journey like if they just signed up for your daily donut digest or have actually showed up at a store to buy their first dozen. Next, add the corresponding Facebook pixel if the correct one is not already selected. Now, I'm gonna choose which HubSpot lifecycle stage changes I want to send to Facebook and Instagram. For now, let's select Sales Qualified Lead. This will let us send all contacts that become Sales Qualified Leads to Meta. I want to send sales qualified leads because I'm interested in sending meta contacts that I have expressed interest in my products and are ready to move into the sales process. You can see here that I'll have 97 conversion events left after I create this one. HubSpot will keep track of how many events you have left. If you run out of events, you can either upgrade your marketing hub tier or purchase an ads limit increase to create 50 additional ad conversion events. Next, select the amount of data you'd like to share with Meta Ads. We'd recommend selecting all contacts that move to the selected lifecycle stages for the best ads optimization experience. HubSpot will automatically name your conversion event based on the lifecycle stage you chose above, so it's easy to find later. When you click Create Event, HubSpot will create a separate conversion event for each of the lifecycle changes you selected. For today, we're just going to create this one sales qualified lead event. Now, I'm going to navigate over to the Events tab, and presto, there's my new Lifecycle Stage Change Conversion event. You can click on it at any time to change the details if you change your mind. But, what about the other conversion events you see here? I created them before the new integration was available, and they became inactive once the integration was released. So, I have to update these events for them to continue syncing. Updating these is super easy. Just click the Replace Events button. HubSpot will pre-select your Facebook ad account, the correct event trigger, and lifecycle stages. All you have to do is confirm the correct pixel is selected. You can also change which contact data you share with Meta if you want to. 
click create event and you're done. Just repeat that same process for each conversion event you want to replace. As you can see, setting up the conversions API within your HubSpot account is super easy. It only takes a few minutes and opens all kinds of doors. Now you can send HubSpot lifecycle stage changes back to Meta as a conversion, and you don't have to lift a finger to do it. This is one of the best steps you can take to lower your costs and reach higher quality leads. Plus, your customers will thank you. How else would I have discovered all of this? Click the link in the description below to get started today.